Hey everyone, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor of the Stir Fry, Nuclear Printing. They're your go-to custom apparel business specializing in custom t-shirts, hoodies, hats, and more for your business, brand, or any occasion. Check them out on Instagram, at Nuclear Printing, spelled N-U-C-L-E-A-R Printing. They are an amazing business with great customer support, so make sure you check them out. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Stir Fry. It's your boy, Chef T. I'm Will the Space Kid. And our special guest, Brian Case. Hey. He is a gamer and a card collector and a streamer. Whole lot of things. How you doing today, Brian? I'm doing beautiful today. Long day, but here I am. Yeah. I'm happy here to be you are. here. My dude's just kicking it. Yeah, kicking it. Late night shoot. Um, so inter- introduce yourself. Tell the people a little more about yourself. My name is Brian Case. Uh, I live in the East Lake of Ohio. Uh, I've <laughs> the been good old East Lake. The good old East Lake. Okay. A lot of people might know me from there. Uh, I, all I do is game, bro. That's all I do. I game, game or die. I game. I fucking <laughs> I game. Uh, I work every day. It's just you know I'm I'm the it's average classic- guy. I'm the average guy, but just I'll tell you I'm better than most of you guys at gaming. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, I'm the average guy, but I got hands that'll just blow your mind away for real. Yeah, if you guys want to one v one him, hit him up. One v one. Okay, so what first interested you in kind of gaming? Like, when did you get started? Man, I- you know how it was when yeah. we were kids. Like when we were kids. It, it was like you didn't really have anything to do. You got home. I hooked up my PS2. You know what I mean? Like I played PS2, play PS1, and played it all. Right. And it actually started with my older siblings. They always played, you know, Zelda and okay, dude, that you know, was the shit. Super Mario, yeah. all the cool. I was heavy on Mario. Yeah, all the, the cool Nintendo 64 shit. Games. Oh yeah, yeah. I still got my 64. I can oh, hook it up. You know, dude, it's sweet. So that's how I really started. And then I didn't start actually gaming, gaming, you know, competitively. I'm like, oh, I could put money up on this. Right. Until I was like 12, 13 years old. I was I was in like sixth, seventh grade. How I don't know how old we were then. So I'm like sixth, seventh grader, and I'm playing with these dudes. They met me online, and uh, I'll never forget that dude. His name was Trey. Trey, you're definitely not watching this, but if you are, I miss He's you. He's probably like 40 years old. Some old ass motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. like now that I look at it, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, it was just a bunch, a group of dudes just always, you know, the uplifting shit. And like, it was so nice because nobody was ne- like, you know, there was always the shit the talking shit talk. call, yeah. call of duty. But like Definitely. the group that I was in was just so genuine and so real. You know, everybody was trying to make each other better and everything. Right. So everything, you know, it, just like in any other thing, you know, you, everybody's just trying to make each other better. And... uh so it all it really all started with that dude and his little group of friends and they said yo you're pretty good let's get you on my team and they were like number 2 in the world uh, on you know there's websites and stuff where you play for you know certain amount of money and right. shit like when that. is this like how old are you around then I'm like 12 okay 11 and you're playing or 12. on what what uh what game system was, what game I switched so many times from PS3 to Xbox 360 uh Back then it was all Xbox. Gotcha. Oh, Back yeah. then Dude. it was all Xbox. Yeah. And then Halo I, and days? I switched it. I don't know. Dude, the Halo, Halo days. Halo um, three days. Halo three Halo days was were crazy. Dude, going to custom games with oh, your buddies, whatever yeah. you wanted to do. Halo three was legit. I think that is the only reason Xbox three sixty got as much sales as it did. Dude, Halo and three f- made it skyrocket. Because like completely. Because most people PS two, legendary. You know, people had the Xbox, Mm -hmm. but, like, PS2 changed the game of gaming, right? And then Xbox, it was, it was like, oh, I mean, it's dope. You know, they got, like, like, uh, NBA. It was a lot of different exclusives, I feel like. Well, on both, Xbox and PlayStation. So, I don't know, it's kind of just, like, a personal thing. It's all all personal at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, it's all personal at that point. It's like, like, do you like MLB? So, I had an Xbox, but I remember 
Tekken was like exclusively on PlayStation. Oh my god. And I would always like, have to like go over to my cousin's house or just figure, yeah, figure it out. I'm playing that I'm playing that Tekken game. <laughs> and then I I wanna say I forgot when it was, but I remember like the first Tekken like came out on Xbox. Like they like they settled all the contracts, made it make sense or whatever. And I was like, Oh man, this is crazy. I mean, that was like a crazy moment I just remember. Yeah, yeah. I mean dude, three six three not three six yeah, well, the three sixty is what changed the game. For Xbox, I think, though. Oh, totally. Like, that Halo. So, yeah. you know, PS3 comes out. They have that. It's free, right? That's, uh-huh. like, the main that thing. That was huge. Yeah, that was huge, especially huge. when you're, like, a kid, and you're, like, Mom, I, like, 20 bucks a month. 20 for, bucks, yeah. You know? <laughs> Let me get that year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. But, like, 360 came out. You had to pay for it. But, like, I don't know. The, the whole system was just beautifully designed, I think. Yeah, so it was that sparkly silver. You take it out the box. Oh, yeah. Um, the, the, the ring was green and bright. It's like, like I mean, you, you you felt crazy. You felt like it was a, it was a special moment, um, you know, just The like homepage was it. beautifully designed. Like, they had they knew what oh, they were man. doing. The main thing I noticed was Xbox was is more for features. Yeah. Xbox is more, you know, you can do so many different things on it but ps4 or playstation is more you know better servers you know they're more focused on like the actual gameplay specs where yeah Yeah. the actual gameplay whereas like xbox is more focused on like oh you could do this though on xbox yeah like it's almost like a whole computer system oh dude which is what they're kind of going into anyways yeah that new one was crazy yeah so when it comes to like you know betting money do you uh, do you feel more comfortable on one system like yeah, you, you feel more comfortable right now on a PS4. Just like I play on Xbox, yeah, yeah. but you feel more comfortable. The game is more fluent on a PS4. And that's just because right now P- uh, PlayStation has the rights to Call of Duty. So like they they don't own Call of Duty, but yeah. the servers are dedicated for PlayStation. Right. So when you hop on an Xbox and, you know, everything's cross-platform now. That's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, I... I knew that, but like I didn't. So like know. when you hop on an Xbox and you play a kid, uh, somebody that's on PS4, they have they, smoother. They're just smoother. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna kill you five times. You know, well, I guess if I'm, you I'm, suck, then you suck. Yeah, like, if you yeah. suck, you suck. Yeah. You know, you're gonna get some kills on the dude, but yeah. So I guess I was more so thinking like in general, like let's say like oh, a, yeah. a, like a range of games. Like we're talking about Madden, Two K, Call of Duty, all these games has multiple platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, is it just more so like you're just quick on the draw like hey let's do it on PlayStation since we're bad money or is it kind of like yeah if I was to bet you like, you're like you know what uh, like if someone was to say something right now like hey I'll let's play you. yeah I, I would I would I would say come play me on Xbox okay 100% okay, yeah. gotcha yeah I'd, I'd say come play me that's, on that's Xbox that's what you put in the 500 bucks on that's yeah. what I'm putting my money on gotcha. Xbox <laughs> alright we'll see you after the game no uh, <laughs> but um let's hook it up yeah, so so you may what games do you mainly play? Like um, Call of Duty is the main one. Call of Duty, the and it just branded into this huge thing this year, and it's like it's basically like the NFL. You know, like the yeah. NFL has teams. You know, they got divisions, stuff like that. Yeah. That's exactly how Call of Duty is now. There's a Chicago team. There's a LA team. There, there's actually right, two is- LA teams. You know, and it's just crazy. You know, it, it's just unbelievable that game, video games. We were sitting there. In our underwear, eating fucking Doritos. <laughs> yeah, staying up till like three in the morning. And it's like that is paying off for some people, you know. And it's just people crazy to see. Make millions of dollars. Millions. Crazy. You see those big name dudes like Ninja and you know all just it, the big name. That's people. amazing uh, to be that young, and make that much money. Like people don't see that type of money in their entire life. I know, and this see, dude sees in like twenty minutes. <laughs> like, well, see, see, I think the whole thing is. It's hard to believe that people are making an actual career out mm-hmm. of it. To I mean, to me, or like to someone even older. Yeah, you know? especially to the old, the older yeah, it generation. They don't. It doesn't seem fathomable, but really, it's like the same as you said. It's like an NFL. It's the same concept. Yeah, it's the same. They thing still now. have a set of skills mm-hmm. that they have built. Right, and that's the coolest part is that it's not just like everyone's good. You know, there's players that are just different. You know, they they make different plays. And the game isn't just, oh, this person shoots more straight than this person. It's, you know, this person has these strat- strategies. You know, these this person's going this way instead of this way. And it's yeah. just there's so right. much into it. And that's the, what separates, you know, when you're at that top level, that's what separates, like, the greats from the good. You and, know, the um, good. you know, yeah. in, like, older people defense, I kind of think it boils, <laughs> it boils down to, like, 
it how local is it? So you know, yeah. if it's if it's some dude in LA and he's making millions of dollars, and you know they're fifteen, and like say you're trying to explain to you know your parents or whatever, like I'm doing this gaming thing, it's gonna hit. They're like, I never seen nobody do that. <laughs> then they're like, yeah. okay, where is they located? So the dude isn't even in Ohio, and, and it has nothing to do with it. You play video games anywhere, it has absolutely nothing to do. But the more local it gets, like I guarantee you, like. Say you became that person from Ohio, top video gamer. Right. Then to some people, parents like, oh, you could be like the one guy. Like I seen, I seen him on the news station. Uh-huh. Like this is possible. Like it's just so much more possible. Yeah. And I guess it's kind of new, right? Definitely yes. new. So brand new. Think about it. It's like the nineteen. I want to say like two thousand so, ten to now. But say it's like the nineteen twenties, right? Thirties. Right, right. oh, like shit. sports are just starting to become like right. real. Careers, right? I mean, we're not even. They're like, just beginning to like develop these games, and yeah. you know, like actually put rules to them. Dudes, like I want to become professional NFL player. This is like the first year of like the official, somewhat of an official league. People are like, "What the fuck are you talking about, dude?" <laughs> People are probably dogging that. Dude. Yeah, you better go in that fucking factory and work. Right. So, like, but it didn't and that's seem what realistic. that's what the cool part is is just being different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just that's what it comes down to is just being a little bit different than that one person who's just doing the same old shit. You know, just being a little bit different. Yeah, you need to have you need to have those people mm-hmm. to like move any type of. I mean, to open new doors to things, and I mean, especially where we're headed as like the whole United States, I mean, the whole world with technology, I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, it might all be games. The NFL might be come a game. People mm-hmm. are like, all these diseases are coming out of like playing football or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it's just getting stricter and stricter, but who knows in like years to come, maybe it's a virtual football game. Right. I mean, it's not even sh- playing. Like, you're sitting at your house and you're in a game making you get, millions. <laughs> yeah, you got like, yeah, you got like Baker Mayfield with the with the hat on and sitting on his couch. Virtu- yeah. <laughs> could you imagine? That's crazy. But like I I Sports definitely go to that. I could definitely see that happening. I could see that happening too and you know, with the technology that's just going around, dude, it's just it just keeps getting better and better. It's just insane. Yeah. So like, where do you think like this esports thing is headed literally like, same thing as nfl yeah. like when i'm talking like like right now we're i'm talking about it and like this is the beginning right you know what i mean like first when the nfl years. first started they were all hyped up they were all like this is something big right you know what i mean and maybe they weren't maybe they didn't even know what they were doing that you know they were like oh right let's just see what happens i just want to play a game of football it's fun yeah so like just to see that it, it, it's cool you know yeah, because I mean, it's becoming a million millions of dollar industry. Like, probably soon here become. I mean, if it's not already a billion dollar industry. Yeah, like, yeah, it's 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 had sponsors there. like. There's there's that guy that uh, Gary V. Yeah. yeah. That guy, he's a real motivational guy on on Facebook, Twitter, and all that all that stuff. He just put. He just started doing. Uh, he started uh, investing into a certain team. So he, yeah. he's he's so excited, you know what I mean? And when I watch him talk about it, and he's so right. He's so exactly right. He's talking like, you know, I'm I'm living in it, and, like, this is it. This is history right now. Like, I'm it. at the beginning of it. It's just starting, and this is the coolest thing ever. Like, it's basically like hop on the train now or, like, it's too late. You know, it's going to yeah. be too late. And it's – it. I was a little late too even. You know, I, I didn't start, I didn't learn about streaming and all, all that cool, you know, softwares and all that, all the stuff that you need to, you know, be, be known and stuff like that. I didn't know about all that. And then when I started finding out, finding out like, oh, you can go on Twitch and stream and you can go buy a computer and have all these cool things. Then like, once I found that out, I'm like, all right, I'm going to slow down a little bit, try to find some good people and just keep playing, you know, I'm going to keep just playing and. And hopefully it'll I'll go big. You know? Yeah, I mean, because you're already spending some of your time doing that anyway, so you mm-hmm. might as well go a little bit extra right, to just maybe go a little bit extra. You never know what'll happen. Exactly. You know? um, which I think is important because you're taking a chance. You're, you're you're taking some extra time out of your day to already busy day to go and go and stream it. Go mm-hmm. and create these videos. Go and um, create your brand, sort of say. And I and I know when I when I'm 30 years old, you know. 
in like 10 years from now. I'm not going to be the same as I am right now. Right. You know, my reactions are going to be lowered a little bit. I'm not going to be the same, you know, hand speed. I'm not going to, it's just not going to be the same. So it's basically like, you know, I, I got to get this shit done and I got to get it done now, you know? And if I don't, then, you know, what, whatever, you, you know, it was right. worth a shot because it's fun as fuck, you know? It's, yeah. the, it's the most fun but thing in the a, world. You get like a thrill, like, that's the one thing I think gaming is, though, is you get a dopamine hit uh-huh. when you succeed and like yeah, when you're playing the game. It's I'm like real thrill. competitive, too. Yeah. So, you know. Especially at that level. Yeah. yeah and then when you're, when you're pe- putting up money on shit and you're just, you got that competitive in you, it's just a whole new level, you know, and it just makes you want to just keep playing. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> right I, it's fun and it's maybe fun. who knows maybe it'll create a lot of uh you know revenue or something but um yeah people are making a lot of money man. yeah um so do you think it's going to go to more virtual reality type stuff like do you think that's ultimately where we're headed or i think for right now it's gonna be you know the 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 skill is that I'm nice on the controller. That's right. the skill in it. It's like you're set to this sort of obstacle. Like you have only limited like control. Right. Like you, you know, if if they make it virtual reality, like in the esports world, like competitively virtual reality, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds fucking sweet. But yeah. but there's a lot of you know bends and breaks that you got to get around because that that's tough, you know. Ver- right now, it's just going to be on controller. Right. And for, for the most part, yeah, it's going to be controller, you know, or, or your mouse, mo- you know, or... mouse. Some, you know, people use keyboard and mouse, and that's what it's going to be. But in, like you said, yeah, in 100 years now, you know, like the NFL has advanced. You know what I mean? Like right. there's new rules, there's new everything, new there's gear. new gear, new everything. So it's going to be the same thing. Right. I could totally see it now, you know? So, you know, definitely I could see it going into like, all right, let's drop the controllers. Let's, let's get competitive. Let's put up a million dollars on what can you do in the virtual reality world? You know? And it's, right. I, I could definitely see that. I think the, uh, if I was to call it, I actually would shoot for Boeing as like the big investment game. Because, <laughs> I feel like you bowling. You heard it here first. <laughs> Listen, yeah. so look, bowling. This is my thing. I feel like bowling is in the middle from where like it's a huge sport that people uh-huh. know, but also if you take it to the video game, it's still like centered in the sense of like. So you know how some people be like, "Oh, you just pressing buttons, uh-huh. uh, whatever." I feel like it's it's in a realm where like I can see like you still have to have like that skill. Like oh, the way right. he, the way he does with his arm movement, the way you know his hands the are together. He puts like on he's it, the know? top virtual reality bowler. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 And it already has like a foundation versus like so like Call of Duty huge, mm-hmm. but you can go somewhere and be like, hey, you heard of Call of Duty? And they like, I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. Bowling right. is kind of like it's universal. international yeah. universal. Right. I mean. <sighs> I don't think so, just for the simple fact of, like, there's less variables. Like, bowling is very simple. There's only a few variables. Like, when you're throwing, like, you either have, you know, the, the spin of the ball and how it hits the the uh, surface. Right. Whereas in, like, these other games, there's a lot more variables. You're but that's dealing- what makes it sweet, though, is just... When someone learns how to master that, that's right. What's either cool. way, it's you know, yeah, and it's talented. It's I know what you mean. Like there's yeah. less that goes into it. Like you know, in Call of Duty, there's there's strategic you know gameplay. There's definitely teams. there's rotations. There's mm-hmm. maps. So like you know, you have to know what to do on this map, what to do on this one. You know, what to do in this situation. You know, you your your whole team died and you're the last one left. Like what do you do? You know, there's. There's, like you said, so many more variables in Call of Duty, but I definitely see where you're going with that. Right. I mean, that's Maybe not bowling, you know, just sports in general. You know, I could see like a virtual, like you said earlier, like a virtual reality sports. And like, yeah, bowling would be a good one. Yeah. I I can see it. We've seen it with with Wii Sports. We did see see what you're talking about exactly with Wii Sports. And I think, I mean, I could could imagine these real bowling alleys going out of business and just being VR places, right? Crazy. Where you can do bowling, where you can do other things Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Um, Like, as a group activity, bowling, virtual reality bowling seems definitely logical. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Like, bowling, you know, like... Tennis, 
No, I mean, like, isn't it crazy to, like, all these virtual Seriously, though, stuff, yeah. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, There's we, people out there who like every little thing. Yeah. You know, like, just someone likes something. You know, you can't just have... Anything in this world, someone likes it. You yeah. know, there's someone out there who's gonna like well, it. Right. Everybody, but anybody can bowl and <laughs> yeah. and like bowl, like and like just enjoy it. But like, not everyone can play Call of Duty and enjoy it. Because mm-hmm. you just be- yeah, that's dude. Like, my dad hops on Call of Duty. He, he can't. It's just like yeah, it's the same thing with my. He's gonna dad. get pissed. He's just gonna get pissed off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and boy, at least you have a chance. Yeah. Like you have that chance to throw it down the lane. Yeah. yeah, you're up to yourself if you hit it in the gutter or don't. And that's like what he said. It's more international because yeah. because it's maybe a little more. Yeah, just as far as like a business aspect. Like if if I was to see like EA Sports, it's like we're going to take a sport, try to heavily convert it to like VR, but like way above what we saw with the Wii. I think it would be bowling because kind of like how you said it's simple. Yeah, you don't have to. Uh, with football, it's so much work. Right. Like there's so much that like, goes into it. Of course, I, I feel like they yeah. would they would love to do that, but it's just so much work. Basketball, same thing. Like okay, we got we got bowling. It's gonna be nice and simple. We're gonna make the right investments in technology. And I could just see people being like, "This is just life changing." I mean, that's probably gonna be one of the first things. That's I mean, I'm sure it's already either a. Out there in like some VR I mean, places, even there the, are VR places. Yeah, even I mean, even when like the Wii dropped, and I mean, you had, I mean, that's what you had. You had bowling, you had boxing, you had tennis, tennis and kids played it all day. Like they were just, so, wow, this is crazy. Yeah. I never imagined this. So I guess so. Something that I kind of think we're talking about is like you guys ever seen Ready Player One? You know what? I I was just talking uh, to someone about that. What and is it? I didn't get to it. I want to see that oh, so man. bad. Oh, man. This is kind of like what we're talking about. Dude, I want to see that so bad because I know what it's about. What did you, what did you yeah. say that the title was? Ready Player One. I haven't. Dude, Gosh, we got to see. We're, we're I slacking. I think Steven Spielberg directed it. Yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, I just told you about him, Jake Moore. He told me about, we were talking about Ready Player One, how I need to watch that. Dude, I you do guys, need to watch that. That is a cinematic. I mean, it's literally about virtual reality world. Yeah, it's, it's about like totally. how how like the future of like life and games kind of intertwine. I see. I mean, it's probably like way different. But what's the movie with um, Machine Gun Kelly? It was like recently. Um, oh, shit. They're like they're like playing the games. MGK made a movie. No, yeah, it's no. He's in it. He's the. Um, it's uh, has Emily Man. has Emma. I'm lost. I can't even think of the movie. No, I know the movie. God. It's next. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, yeah. That's what the movie's called. Yeah, it has uh, yeah, it, so. it has James Franco's brother in it too. Oh okay. Um, so that I movie is it. basically like it's fire. So it starts off simple. Um, do this in the game, and you'll get this prize. It's like a real and life just, game, though. Yeah, it, it is real life. Kind of what I think about, but it's a mixture between like you having a, like your, your your phone oh, <laughs> going yeah. crazy. And telling you what to do versus uh, what you want to do, but you then you, you kind of want to do it just to like stay alive. That was a good movie. Yeah, it yeah. is crazy. I gotta uh, see that. that movie yeah, crazy. well, MGK plays like a villain in it. <laughs> it's like one of his first roles, I think, in like Hollywood. Outrageous villain. Well, maybe I did see this. I don't know. You probably did. It wasn't like I that. Might be tripping. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that huge of a movie, but um, I mean, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't blockbuster. I, I think quality, I mean, quality wise was. Yeah, good, it was though. in like, theaters for a little bit, but it was that good. But um, all right, back to you, Ryan. So like. So you said you stream, you do Twitcher? Or... Wait, is it Twitch, right? You do yeah, Twitch. Twitch. Why is he Twitch? <laughs> what am I, 40 oh, years old, man. dude? <laughs> you got that Twitcher. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you get on. <laughs> I wrote the Twitcher. Sure got some you hot babes on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing with the Twitcher? Uh, oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I stream on Twitch. Okay. What's your Twi- name? Twitch.tv slash burner with no E. B-U-R-N-R. Nice name. It's all nice, name, no clean numbers. And simple. Yeah, clean and uh, simple. I hate when people fuck it up with the numbers. Zombie Slayer forty nine forty nine. <laughs> you know <laughs> X X five eight. Like you didn't even need that many numbers. Bro. You fucked up, man. Yeah. You made it look ugly. <laughs> dude, I was always terrible at picking my usernames, dude. Dude, when I was a kid, I was bad. I was Pancakes. That was my first gamer tag was <laughs> Pancakes XX sixty nine. Man, away. And I had to throw the sixty nine in there. When we were kids, that was the funniest number. Dude, in the world. yeah. You know, I'm like fifth grader. Sixty nine. You know? No, I picked your first. I could definitely see that. <laughs> oh, it's totally. I always overthought it, and I'd spend like a whole day to, like. <laughs> like it's the I, next day, and you're like, "Dude, I'm just sticking with the old one." <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I had like, dude, my first name was MLG MLG Chunks. Ahead of the game, 
ahead of the game. <laughs> MLG, boy. Um, no, it was, yeah, it was MLG Chunks. Because oh. I was chunky. Yeah, you were bigger and, that, back and, then. And yeah. I thought I was going to be like a Halo star. <laughs> 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 I put I got a lot of confidence behind that one. I was like, yeah, dude, like, this name's Raw. And then, like... You see it in my name. I'm MLG now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I think god. I just always like pick the TV show and like just threw something in there. So like it could be anything like South Park <laughs> South Park dude. Like, <laughs> like literally like just So any- real that- quick, since you said South Park, were you big on South Park or Family Guy? Like I feel like everybody always so, picks one or the two that's better. I mean family so like to me, me South Park is like just- way better than Family yeah. Guy. Uh-huh. But yeah, as, as far as like a business, Family Guy is like better. No, I mean like as a kid, like what oh, you as a kid, with? oh yeah, South Park, like Dude, easily. See, like as a kid, it was always South Park. I always yeah. thought that shit was so funny and so. I was never allowed to watch that. Yeah, I, and it's like, like I don't think the nobody's fact allowed. That you to watch. allowed to watch it made, <laughs> made it yeah. so much better. It's like Family Guy I fucked with. I was like, nice. Always watch Family Guy, like. But yeah, Family Guy to me is like I like that dumb funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? That stupid Well, South Park's funny. like, you probably shouldn't say that, but like they got away with it, so... Dude, South Park, I want to yeah. know how they got away with half the shit they said in the past. Because they're bro. genius, dude. We, no, because we need them. We do. We need them, because everyone's us. thinking the shit that they're doing. We're all thinking it, but since it's a cartoon and like... Think about it. The Canadians aren't even human. Like, they don't even look like the normal people. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like any any other country, they look normal, but like Canadians, just nah. Not nah, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> just totally off. But uh, Twitch, dude, Twitch. Like, I don't think I saw it. Sh- people make money off Twitch. Yeah, the main the main How, way to dude, I just the main way understand. to make money it it comes from oh, like a wide variety of things. You know, there's you know how on YouTube you get subscribers. Right. Yeah. So on Twitch you get subscribers, but it costs that person five dollars to subscribe to you. You get oh. half of that. So every person that subscribes to you, you know, Ninja and people like the big oh, yeah. names, they get thousands of subscribers a day and he gets half of that money. But then on top of that, there's people who donate money. That like, you know, there's different like little, you know, there's the tab bar and then there's little links that you, okay. you can click on and then it's like, oh, donate to this person, you know, or or just uh, subscribe to them. Subscribing right. is the main thing everyone does. You know, it's like if you get a subscriber, that's cool. You know, and then so can you see the videos without subscribing? What do you mean? Like, oh, like can you can you just go on and watch them? And yeah. It's not even yeah yeah. So you oh, wow. So, so you don't created. have to subscribe to anybody. Like like me personally, like no, huh. I don't subscribe to nobody. You know, and like, yeah. unless you subscribe to me, of course, I'll subscribe <laughs> to you. <laughs> but uh, no. But if you, I subscribe, I can send you a message, right? Oh, dude, you don't even... The subscription huh. is literally just... A way to contribute to your favorite players. A way to... Yeah, like, it's a way to just kind of... It's it's a it's a donation, but it's not called a donation. Gotcha. Right. Okay, you know, gotcha. it's it's just a... Here, I'm going to put you on. Here you go. I, you're enter, you entertain me. Yeah. And gotcha. it, it's, a, it's a way of showing... Uh, Value and... Yeah, service. that you appreciate what they're doing and you like it, you know? Yeah. And uh, there's, there's different varieties. You know, there's $5 uh, that you could send to somebody. There's... Uh, Fifteen dollars subscriptions and there's twenty five dollars subscriptions. So, so like, do people usually put different values in it? Like, so say someone that pays five dollars, you know, they're just getting the regular content. But someone that pays ten dollars, are, are they, they getting, getting more? Yeah, no, really? they're just paying more because they want to. That's all. They, I because mean, they like that person, so they're like, I'm okay. gonna. A lot of it is for, let's say, Ninja is streaming, one of the biggest streamers in the world. Let's say he's streaming. A lot of it is people just want their name said. You know, by that famous person. Right. So when every donation he gets, everything he gets, every subscription he gets, it pops up on his screen. You know, it's be like, oh, thank you, whatever, for the donation. Right. You know, and then. Uh, oh, as he's so, gaming, like. So he'll be playing. Stuff? You know, he'll be playing. He'll look over at his screen, and then he'll be like, oh, he'll see someone donated to him on his computer. He'll be like, oh, thank you very much, and then he'll be he'll be playing, and he'll say the person's name. You know, whoever donated to him, and that's what that person. You know, they're like, oh, I spent this much money on this person. Thinking like, oh, they're gonna say my name now. They're gonna yeah. It's almost a little bit of notoriety for me, you know. Right. No. Yeah. It makes sense. Like everyone <laughs> see it. Millions of people. And I mean, on that off chance he does, he does see your name. Like, you know. Mm-hmm. Like if Beyonce feel just good. saw our name, just, it's gotta just, feel like, good. I would feel I would feel good about myself. You know, and there's people out there. It's like, you know, the the professional Call of Duty player. That's their idol. You know, yeah. there's people out there that are. 
way more passionate than I am. You know, there's people out there that grind every single day to like be that. to be the best. And there's a lot of people that do that and just don't do don't do anything with it. You know, right. and it, it sucks because it's such a huge industry now because everyone knows about it now. Everyone's like, oh, I can play games. I can go sit on my couch and make money. You know, so right. like, everyone wants to do that now. So it is so hard on, you know, any streaming platform, Twitch. There's more. There's, you know, it's the same thing. It's like how there's Facebook and Twitter. There's different. It's all the same stuff, but it's just different. You know, there's Mixer. There's Twitch. There's probably more. I don't, those are the main two that I know. Right. So whenever someone goes on there, it's just annoy. It's almost annoying for people, you know, your average Joe Schmo, because he's not going to, you know, he's not going to get shit, you yeah, know, because because all the people are watching Ninja and Tifu and all right. those crazy big names. People are watching those dudes instead of, you know, you're sitting all, here's the top. You're sitting all the way at the bottom. Just, Hey, how, so yeah, <laughs> that's almost crazy to me because it's kind of the similar concept with what you're seeing on like YouTube, mm-hmm. right? Like they kind of created their own like neat like niche. But you have celebrities that's not even like good. Like like well, yeah, like, so Drake, you have, like if, you have, if Drake was on Twitch, dude, he's gonna get millions of plays. So I think um, right, and he's gonna be the most blunt person ever. He's yeah. gonna be blunt, boring, and he's, he's Drake. Like right, I'm right? Know, he's not. Twenty one savages on there. Like he has like this. Eighty thousand dollar gamer bed, and he just gets on Twitch. I mean, I'm I'm not on there, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are watching it. Um, DJ Academic is on there, um, so it's just these people with these cross platforms. It's just like, hey, I'm about to just jump on there, <laughs> get some money. I mean, and a lot I mean, of famous yeah. people are realizing that, like uh, football players, like uh, like Juju Smith Schuster. He was he was you know he's he's a total you know, character. He's right. for the kids. You know right. what I mean? The Juju is, he's cool. So he, he started streaming Call of Duty and stuff. Okay. And it's like, that's smart. You know what I mean? Like, not only do you have football, you have a few thousand people watching you when you're not even doing shit. You know, you're sitting at you your house. You could be ass. Right. You don't have to be good. Juju's good. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Juju Smith. Gotcha. But you could, are, so you could be, you could be the same talent as you are. Mm-hmm. You know, whether, like, obviously you're not the best player in the whole world. Right, right. Yeah. By all you means, know? no, not at all. Not yet, at least, right? <laughs> no. Give me right. some time. But, uh, <laughs> but now it's created this whole profit stream that they can just, you know, these average players, if they have clout, I mean, they can gain that extra thing. But same with, like, YouTube. Like, you have clout. Like, 21 Savage can make a whole vlog series. Mm-hmm. Throw some revenue sh- stream on there. Make a fucking few hundred thousand dollars, and I mean, boom, he can boom, do that. just like that, yeah. But I mean, money. Twitch sounds like it's straight through. Boom, you pay five bucks to subscribe to Twenty One Savage, and he's getting that directly. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, everything's pretty much. Actually, and people probably pay more for. You gotta. What I noticed was when I there's there's levels to it. There's like you start off and you're just a streamer. You know what I mean? And okay. then you become affiliated. So once you've done a certain amount of a list of milestones, you know, stream, you know, have five concurrent viewers throughout the month, you right. know what I mean? Or whatever the milestones were, once you, uh, once you get there, it's, it's, it's like, then there's partner and it's like, once you get to partner, you're good. You're set. If you're a partner on Twitch, you don't have to work. You know what I mean? That's yeah, how it is. That's crazy. So like right now I'm in that middle phase of like, I'm affiliated so like I can make money. You can't make money. You it's can't. Clear. You can't receive donations unless you're an affiliate. Oh, and then once okay. you get the affiliate, you work for that partnership. And once you're partnered, you're good. You know what I mean? Like Twitch has got you. Twitch yeah. has got your back. You know. Well, yeah. You probably get um, more. <laughs> I'm sure it's. I haven't looked at it, but I'm sure there's more. You're posted on a featured page or mm-hmm. recommended. I don't know yeah, how it yeah, works, yeah. but I'm guessing it's similar to that. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. It's it's just. Pretty much how everything gets listed is, like you said, there's a featured page. So, like, if someone's doing real hot that month, you know what I mean? Like, someone's getting hella viewers, you know what I mean? Just a bunch of people dropping in. Then they're going to maybe be thrown up on the Twitch home screen. You know, right. you log into Twitch.com, they're right there. You know, other than that, you have to search for people. And the hardest part is, you know, getting known. That's the hardest part. Like, how, creating their personality, your brand off of... 
to like that. to me that it all came naturally. Well, yeah, cause you, you know what I mean. I I just loved gaming and I always showed my emotion. You know, when you're I'm gaming, funny, I'm, dude. Yeah, I'm fucking get shit on, motherfucker. You know, I'm, you're wild. Yeah, I'm just uh, yeah. When I'm behind the sticks, I'm wild. So <laughs> I started streaming and stuff, and it's hard, bro. It's not. It, everyone's like, oh, I'm gonna be a streamer. I'm gonna be a streamer. Like, no, the fuck you are not. Like, no, I'm sorry, but like, no, you're hey, not. <laughs> I think I'm going to be a streamer. Nothing bore, makes me more pissed off than seeing someone on Twitch that has 10 times more followers than me, 10 times the shit that I got, Just and they are the no most character. boring motherfucker to watch. Or they can't shoot to save their life. You right. know what I mean? Like... There's nothing... I don't understand. I, and I think all that is is that they played a different game and got known on that game. That's the biggest part is oh yeah playing like, something different. You know what I mean? It, everybody's on Fortnite and Call of Duty and right. Apex Legends. You know what I mean? All those games came out. So everybody's streaming that. You know, some little kid named Jimmy that's 13 years old is streaming, you know, in his room. Right. And th- that kid's getting no viewers. You know what I mean? Because just saturated. Just so, it, exactly. It's yeah. just saturated as fuck. And then so what I did uh, for a period of time was Modern Warfare 2 came out. It was, or er, Modern the, Warfare 2, the, the backwards re- compatible. Yeah. You know, they made it so you can put plug in your Xbox 360 disc to your Xbox One. Right. So what I started doing was playing competitive matches on Modern Warfare 2. Smart. So... I ended up getting, you know, 10 followers that day. Some random dude donated don- donated me like 25 bucks. You know, I've never met this dude That's in my crazy. life. And so it all, you can't just go hop on Fortnite, start street, hit the start streaming button, and you're golden. You know, you got to work for that shit. You got to right. show strategize. people you care. You know, you got to yeah, exactly strategize. You got to, you know, think about times to get online. Like, you know, sometimes are dead times. And the dead times are the times you might want to hop online because not all the famous people are on. You right. know what I mean? Some a bunch of little kids are online at four in the morning, you know, while, while everyone else is going to sleep. Yeah. You know, so, you know, I, I, what I noticed was what I used to do when I was younger is I would be on Twitch on my phone and I would just be scrolling through. It's four in the morning. I'm bored. You know what I mean? Well, the same thing as, you know, people watch YouTube videos before right. they go to bed. You know, and then they get right. sucked in on YouTube or whatever. I would go on Twitch and just scroll through and see who I fucked with, you know? Yeah. And I would go and a big part of it, too, was just communicating with everybody. Uh, I would always, you know, hey, what's up? How you doing? You know, it's four in the morning. This dude's got no viewers and I'm sitting in this chat. What's up? How you doing? You know, and it's like. But maybe you'll get a follow back. But maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. he knows people and uh, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it just. It's basically, it all comes back to spreading positivity, for real. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I hate that whole, oh, spread positivity thing, you know. Right. <laughs> but, like, that's really all you can do is just not be negative and just spread positivity. And, and just strategize I, with it. Yeah. Kind of how you just said, like, positivity. I was I was kind of thinking, like, the opposite. So, has it ever, <laughs> has it ever been somebody... Fuck you, fucked. Yeah, has it, has it ever been somebody that you subscribe to just because like they were like the best trash talker you ever yeah. seen on Twitch mm-hmm. but they're but they're not really that good no it's just funny it's yeah. just content yeah yeah. Okay. yeah there's this dude uh, exposed and he was I started watching him when he had like maybe 100 200 people following him right you know? gotcha. okay. so he had nobody following him really and I remember he he did this thing where you know, everybody's got their face cam, and he walked up to his face cam, and he grabbed it, and he spit on it. And it's like, what the fuck? But every, but that video, that clip, you know what I mean? Like, that one 30-second clip got him famous. Right. You know, and it's like, that's not who he is. He did that for show. You know, he's a good heart. I know he's a good-hearted dude. I, I've, I've actually had conversations with him. You know, he's a good-hearted but dude. But you got to separate yourself. But, yeah, you got to... And it's, you know, there's just people out there that say, like, or I always think about the the catch me outside girl. You know what I mean? Like, she, she, nobody likes her. No. Not a single person that I know fucks with her. <laughs> okay? But everybody knows who she is. Yeah. You know she what I mean? She makes money. Everybody knows see, who she is. And see, she no makes one fucks with money. her, but people do fuck with her because they don't fuck with her. Does that make sense? Right. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You're like, like this bitch circle. is fucking ridiculous. 
But I might follow. But her. I might fuck with her. <laughs> yeah. I fuck with that yeah. though. <laughs> like I just watched her her YouTube video and like her music video, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck is this? <laughs> But I gave but it I'm a view. But I'm waiting for the next one, though. Yeah, yeah right. Like, I gave it a view. Yeah. Like, it's just how it is. But, like, 10 years ago, could you even see it possible to, like, make this kind of money from streaming uh-uh. live gaming? No, I had no idea. Back then, dude, I used to sit with a tripod and a, and a camera yeah. Oh, yeah. And I would record. I would the face screen. it at my screen <laughs> and record my gameplay because I didn't know back then how to do shit. Yeah, but then you'd have to go and like edit it or whatever. Like there wouldn't be like a live system. Oh yeah. Like those. I mean, gameplay has always been kind of popular, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. like there was really no way to monetize. I mean, it. what year was Twitch released? Oh man, a long ass time ago. Uh. Because they were probably like. I could look it up, but I, I don't know off the I top. I feel of like my head. they were probably around. Like 2010 ish. I would say 2010-ish, probably, if I'm... See, even to say, like, but two, it probably 2010... Wasn't, it's probably not what we think, though. It was probably very, like, especially when it started, it was probably more like... Oh, yeah, it wasn't as... P, I'm guessing PC games. I'm saying, like, PC gaming was probably what they were specializing it in. It was time. hard to... There's some League of Legends shit. You needed so many adapters, so much shit. You know, you had to have a computer build. You go fucking buy you know, the... You have to yeah. do all this shit, and I didn't know about that when I was a kid. I always thought just... I'm just gonna record. Like, just, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, so that, that's basically your shitty that's ass basically, looking like digital uh, camera that also four records megapixels. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's pretty much what I was getting at. Like, let's say Twitch was, um, you know, founded in 2010 or whatever. Maybe yeah. maybe 2007. Whoever was watching, whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, yeah, whatever, sorry, that's, 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 beside, that's beside the point. But let's say a range from 2007 to 2010, mm-hmm. and you know, 2000. 13, 14 is really, you know, there. Like, it's a foundation of people. Everybody has their systems, and, you know, they're going hard at it. That's only been, like, six years. Yeah, you're right. right. So, Still. So, that's not a, enough time to really understand, reach or understand its full capabilities and for people to even just understand it as a thing. Like, this is real. Like, people really make money. Yeah, if, if everybody's seen, you know, the whole, like, ninja movement, but mm-hmm. a lot of people look at that as, like, Oh, he's just the chosen. That, he's just the chosen one. That was just one. him. That's not a. Th- that's not a thing for yeah. you to do. Right. That you're, was just, you're not. Lucky you're not going to make that money in this house. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be wasting your time playing video games, but mm-hmm. you should because it might not be a waste of time. Right. Yeah. For some people, you know, there's some people where you know you just don't got it. You know what I mean? And it's just yeah. like don't pursue that. And it's just that simple. Self awareness though. It's huge. The key. It's huge. the key. Like, yeah, you need. It's huge. It's bro. If you, yeah, if you suck, dude. Like, if you like, suck, stop. Suck. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> if, if you suck, don't dedicate well, your life to it. I guess my thing yeah. with like even like, like sucking, like so, I feel like it's always a leisure. You so whether try. so whether you spend <laughs> two hours watching TV every day, you spend that playing video games, or you like to go leisure, golfing. Yeah. Everybody has a leisure. Mm-hmm. And let that person have their leisure. Now, obviously, if they're, you know, taking off work, like, yeah, um, I'm just going to put in that uh, PTO or use my uh, va- vacation <laughs> day and they suck at the game. I mean, yeah, you got to have a talk with your friend. What but you doing? if they just want to spend, you know, three hours going hard every day on a game and it works and they're able to function life. Generate some side income. Then right. let them do it. Like, I don't know. Bro, g- gaming to me was the best outlet of getting away from... I realize I realize I I grew this weird obsession with loving <laughs> things that weren't reality. You know, falling yeah. in love with things. You know, when I was younger, I had my you know my psychedelic activity <laughs> funness. Oh yeah, and you know that was fun. You know what I mean? Like being in that different days. world was gotcha. fun. You know what I mean? And it's like. I would do that every day if I could. My, I mean, obviously I fucking can't. You know, <laughs> right. it fucks with my head too much. But like, I would get out of this world and be put in Goof Land all day long. You know what I mean? I wish I lived in Goofy Land. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just fucking Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, fucking balling all day, just having fun. Yeah. But so I, I realized I grew this weird obsession with not liking reality, and that's that's fucked up, honestly. You know, because you gotta like the life you live in, and it's all about you know. I chose this path, and it's like, well, what am I going to do to fix it? Right. So gaming to me was the biggest outlet of, you know, escaping, like, 
oh, some fucked up shit just happened. Like, I'm just going to go sit on my game and it'll take my mind away from it. Right. You know, that was my biggest thing is that it takes my mind away from it. And then once I'm in the game, I'm in the game. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, you know, someone's sitting there, Brian, Brian. And I'm sitting there fucking just with just my, my headset on. I'm just... Mom, get out of here. Right, like, I'm in the fucking, Damn. I'm in the zone, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so did you, like, get into more so, like, um, Club Penguin Sims? Oh, Club Penguin was my yeah. shit. Okay. Yes, got I, you. I, dude, did you ever play the Disney Channel games? Oh, uh, like, which one? Like, which there was a specific game? one where it, um, it was Stitch, and he he walked around with a... With, I know exactly what you're talking about. With a fucking I, thing, I, and you had to catch the I, I sandwich. Know, I literally know exactly what you're talking dude, about. Dude, you had to catch the sandwich. <laughs> uh, I, I can't tell you how many times, how, how long I spent... Do I remember uh, Mini Clip? Yeah, Mini Clip. Mini Clip. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are classic. They had to ban that shit in sc- all schools. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Motherfuckers would go to computer science class. We'd and be, be grown like, ass fucking what do you think like 16 year olds, 17 year olds, dude, just still doing that shit. Playing in library. Flood Runner. <laughs> yeah. So I know you touched on it. Like, I think this is like an argument with gaming, though, is like, especially with older people viewing it as such, is they fear that it is the escapism. Mm-hmm. That actually, you know, like we said, it's compared to an NBA or the NFL as like a sport. But some people might be like, well, it's not producing like positive things with their body. Like these are, you're right. physically getting, you're physically getting active. You're right, like you're just sitting on your, your ass, health. you know what I mean? And that's when it comes down to just, that's that's that person's right. personal, you know, they have to go out and make that change. If they're sitting on their ass and they become fat and lazy and they don't like it then like that's on them they, yeah. they should change well, that i mean do you think <sighs> that especially in younger kids i mean it is a form of escapism especially yeah. you know yeah when when i was a kid i remember my sister passed away and that was like the worst thing that's ever happened in my life that's mm-hmm. hands down number one worst thing okay. you know so when that happened i remember my dad told me the news and i'm sitting there playing my game and i couldn't even wrap it around yeah. you know what I mean he's telling me what's happening and I couldn't even you know like I, it's almost like I didn't want to believe it you know what I mean so I sat there and I just kept playing my game and then like middle of the game I just like broke down you know what I mean I was just right. like fuck you know are you serious like you know like is this serious right now and I just remember it it it, it helps you escape from all the bullshit and like don't get me wrong it's fucked up it it takes over a lot of people's lives yeah and and like you said you know the whole kids and escapism you know try to find a different outlet it's safe you know what i mean like it's safe it's not it's not dudes are like you know there's no drugs involved there's no nothing is nothing bad is involved you know except for fucking just calling a dude a piece of shit you know like oh i fucked you up but it might be beneficial to get shit out to like i don't know right and then you know it helps those kids who have like anger issues or something maybe get it yeah. you know get it out in the game instead of taking it out on your mom or out, out on your family members and stuff like that right so you know I that's mean, a little deeper look into it and yeah you know you never you never really know it all just depends on the person but I do think people take, like, the whole gaming thing. It's these stereotypes that are, like, to the extreme. Yeah. Like, oh, you going to become fat and obese just yeah. playing that video game. Or video games cause violence. I don't want you to be out there shooting those people That up. was the yeah. big thing. Um, that was the violence. hugest thing, I think, Even the whole, like... Even now, though. If you, um, mm-hmm. if you keep playing that game... You're gonna go blind. You can't look yeah. at a, you can't look at a well, TV. I'm that wearing long. glasses right now. You know what I mean? Like these ain't these are prescription, bro. Like, like it is just I, like, I'm sitting there when I'm 13. Like, it is just like these glue. extreme measures. You can put these at anything, anything that anything yeah. that somebody does. I mean, right, literally, like, right. like that's like me saying, "Oh, you should be playing basketball that long. You you won't get crossed. Somebody gonna break your ankle. Yeah, like, you it's might, not saying you might tear your ACL or something. Like, you know, yeah, we like, can say concussions. These, you might get uh, concussions. That's oh, a football, big one for football. Yeah. But it's I mean, like, it but it's like these are effects. extreme stereotypes and scenarios. And granted, they do happen. And granted, it could be you or it could be the person um, you're close to. But people have to just live life. And whatever comes with it, take it for what it is. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And I think, so I definitely agree. And again, going back to the idea that's still fairly new. I mean, these games are still fairly new. And like this, this that kind was of such a good point. I can't yeah. get over that. That was a good ass point. Yeah, you're killing it. Killing. He kills it on the metaphors, man. I don't know where he comes <laughs> He just he's just like a machine. 
<laughs> but, he gotta live life. Man. His metaphors are crazy, but like I definitely think that, especially older people, parents, they don't see the positives of it, just because they don't understand it. Right, they didn't get to like grow up in that. Right, era. they got they played like pong. They played or whatever Tetris. it's called. Yeah, Tetris, pong, pong Tetris, uh, Pac Man. Like those were all like. <laughs> You would play them together in person with people. Right, a lot of times that was like a group setting type thing. Like, you so, know, that but, wasn't yeah. like, oh, I play, I go home and play my game every day. But now it's become a thing where, you but know, people they, take off their yeah. book bag and they sit on the game. For I mean, the rest they can't the fully grasp that it's still a social activity. Oh, dude, it's beyond you know? a social activity. It's <laughs> it is the most social you can get. You feel because so, you because yeah. you feel so comfortable you, over you build it. relationships from. Oh, I can't tell you how many people. I know personally, you know what I mean? That I've built a relationship with right. that I've added on Facebook and, you know, Instagram and everything. You know what I mean? Like they're part of me now, you know? And it's like, that was my biggest thing was the relationships that you gain in gaming are unmatched. You know, obviously, you know, it, it is matched. You know what I mean? Like the people, you know, uh, uh, NFL, like LeBron and D Wade, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that relationship forever you know what i mean and it's the same it's the same thing right you it's guys the have same something thing. common you're working together to exactly. get to some goal exactly you know you know and it, you always got to have those people you know i know it goes for every business those people who have the same goal in common you know what i mean you can't just limit yourself you know that was my biggest problem is i always played with people i might have i sh- probably shouldn't have you know what i mean I, yeah i i, I didn't take myself to that next level because I was always hanging out with my dudes playing. I want to play with my friends. You know what I mean? I want to play with people I know. Right. But dude, the people you meet on there, it's crazy. Again, when you said for that, that leisure to like, you know, making it serious or like somewhat serious, you know, there is a separation. And mm-hmm. the one like just really interesting thing I noticed is like I seen it grow socially. So I can remember a time where uh, you have all these game spots like uh, GameStop, etc., whatever, and they would have a tournament. Mm-hmm. And you know, I thought that I thought that was crazy at the time as as a kid. Like, oh, oh they're having a tournament. You can go play Madden in two mm-hmm. K um, Tekken. Oh, oh, oh. But now, you know, in twenty twenty. You have businesses wake up and say, like, I have a space. I'm just going to invite all the gamers here, yeah. and I just provide the TVs, and they'll provide the games, and we're going to have multiple tournaments. And even if they're not good, they'll show up just for the social experience, experience mm-hmm. which is huge growth. Like, I literally thought, like, me and my friends going to go see a tur- me, me and my friends going to go play in a tournament. That was crazy. I never imagined all these spaces where these kids and teenagers could go and just play video games for like seven hours and go home. Like, right. that's crazy. They literally All made... they do is buy the TVs. Literally, it's crazy. Dude, that might be our next business activity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to Ryan? Hey, you're the, the head gamer guy. We'll just supply Dude, the TVs. Um, <laughs> that would be big in Cleveland. Dude, no, it would be. It would be because Cleveland is a... There's so many gamers I've met that live in Ohio. So many people I met. Midwest that, that, people aren't like. People, what the fuck is there to do in Ohio, bro? It's cold. Play yeah. fucking video games, yeah. man. <laughs> That's what we all do. Like, you do it. Everybody does Play it. Video and games then there's just podcasts. people. Yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> I mean, that, so overall, though, I think gaming is just like any other thing, man. I think it's just realistically, an, yeah. It's 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 a way. It's an outlet. You know, whether it's Will making a song, me making a video, these are all outlets to kind of express ourselves and, and you know, channel our, um, our creativity or our stress or anything we have going on. It's a way to, like, kind of ex- express that in a way. Right. And, and, I mean, I honestly think gaming is just a realistic you know, career path, it, it can be just as much as a YouTuber, just as much as a podcaster, just as much as any one of these, you know, kind of new careers that are coming in, like, the 20, the you know, the 21st century. What a time to be alive, bro. It, it is. It's I mean, great. dude, think about it. Before the, like, the 80s, dude, no, like... You didn't have shit. Yeah. You really didn't have shit compared to what we have today. Bro, and it's been, like, it's only, like, what, 40 years ago. I know. 
Imagine like, what's gonna be in forty more years. Cell phone like, was what? crazy. That's like the biggest. That was that shit was crazy to people. Yeah, I remember when they had that Nokia phone. Nokia came out. You see that razor? That new razor. <laughs> yeah, dude. If I if I fucked with Androids, I would get one for sure. Man, those are classic. Those are classic, dude. Those are. I would honestly just rather have the sweet too. I, I, I would just, I would just rather have a straight like razor phone. Like fuck the touch. I know. Shit, like, I don't I even want the new one. I no, want the old one. Yeah. Like <laughs> honestly, if you're gonna go for that. You want to go for fucking the straight old one. But I don't know. Either way, I think you should pursue what you love, man. I think that's what Always. we preach here. And I mean. I, Thank you for coming and, you know, being part of the show. Like, always. This was a great episode, I think. So much different content for different viewers. And people got... I even... That opened my eye to some of the some of the shit like Twitch. I, I mean, I had no idea about Dude, it. Dude, it's crazy. Like, it's a crazy really, world, bro. 2020. There's, you can make a whole living off of sh- live streaming a game. You're sitting on your couch, bro. Crazy. You're sitting on your couch. Crazy. Making people millions. making money. So much money going around. So much. Give me some of that, please. <laughs> but uh, but you have anything else, Will? Man, so on Xbox, how can they find you? On Xbox, Gamertag's Bernolia. It's a little twist of burner. Oh. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I wanted to mix it up. I'm like, oh, I'm Bernolia now. And don't act like you can't, you don't know That's how to spell wrong. it. Because he, he about to tell you how to spell it. Yeah. No, don't, don't be avoiding. I wasn't just going to say Bernolia. Don't be avoiding this, beat, this beat down. This beat down coming. I'm taking side bets. Xbox, it's B-U-R-N-O-L-I-A. You can add me on Xbox. Instagram, case, K-A-S-E underscore cards. It's my new business. Hit me up. And that's about it. That's and all. And Twitch, the uh, you already and said Twitch, that, yeah, Twitch is burner without the e. B u r n r. And we'll include a link to all that and, stuff. And below. you gonna like win me some money, right? Like I'm not gonna lose my money. Yeah, we're gonna uh-uh. bet money on you, yo. Oh shit, yeah, no, I, I come. I'm, Stir fry sponsor. I play good under pressure. Okay, that's my thanks. favorite. That's my favorite. When people count me out. Hey man, we you know we might get into to the tournament shit. They will sponsor. You're about to see a dynamic trio yeah, in a minute. They will sponsor <laughs> burner. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone, thank you for watching and listening. I hope you got a lot out of this. Um, it's your boy Chef T, Will the Space Kid, and Uncle B, aka Burner, aka Bryson. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and thank you for coming. See you, everyone. Keep it real. Thank you all for listening and joining us on another episode of the Stir Fry. All the music was created by Steve Ozell, so check him out on all streaming services at Steve Music, spelled S. T three V three zero music. Also, if you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and leave a review. We'd greatly appreciate it. And thanks again to our sponsor, Nuclear Printing. They're a custom apparel business, printing things from t-shirts and hoodies to hats and more. Check them out on Instagram at Nuclear Printing, spelled N-U-C-L-E-A-R Printing. And see you next Tuesday when we talk with KHR Chance. He is a 15-year-old rapper from Menor, Ohio. We discuss the advantage of starting a career like music as young as he is and how generations have changed. He's a bright young kid, so you won't want to miss it. See you next week. Keep it real.